Well, we start at six with those new developments in the investigation out of Chesapeake. Two people are charged with murder, and a family friend tells us one of the suspects is related to the victims. Ryan Martinez and Erica Lildrigan are both charged with first-degree murder and concealing a body. Our cameras showed Ryan in the patrol car right there last night before he was taken to jail. Investigators say he was in the home on Monarch Reach when officers showed up to check on a man and woman who lived there. And the bodies had been in the house for a while. Tonight on your side, Lauren Compton joins us live with more about these victims and also the suspects, Lauren. Anita, I spoke to a friend of the victim. She believes that the two people found inside this home in Chesapeake were her close friends. She also tells me that Martinez is the female victim's son. She says she was so sad to hear about what happened at the home, but not surprised. Newspapers started piling up at this Dominion Lakes home this week, and so did concern. Police went to check on the people who live here and found the bodies of a man and woman inside. Today, police charged Ryan Martinez and Erica Ladrigan with their murders. A friend who asked us to conceal her identity says the couple in this home were married and Martinez was the woman's son. she do anything for her son, Ryan. And she did everything for her son, Ryan. She gave the shirt off her back for him. The friend says Martinez was living in this home with his mother and stepfather. She tells me Martinez's mother took care of him and even supported him financially. Why? She did everything for you. Why? Why would you kill your bread and butter or allow it to happen? The family friend believes Martinez's relationship with Ladrigan might have something to do with the murders. She says Martinez and Ladrigan dated for years, but his mother never approved. His stepfather even tried to keep them apart. He would have done anything to help Ryan. We are trying to get Erica out of the picture completely, but Ryan would sneak around. Ryan was, for lack of a better term, under a spell with Erica. The friend says she was horrified to learn what happened at this home, but she was not surprised that Ladrigan is connected to the crime. She always felt strange around her. I got a funny vibe. She gave me goosebumps, and I didn't know why. Martinez and Ladrigan denied our request for an interview. Right now, police have not officially ID'd who these two people in that Chesapeake home are at this time. They tell us because the bodies were in that home for so long, they were badly decomposed, and investigators will have to pull dental records to positively ID them. Reporting live in Chesapeake, Lauren comes in 10 on your side. Lauren,